Do you have a blemish that you want to eliminate from your clip? How about a drone shadow? Let's see how to do this in Resolve. Okay, I've got two clips here, both of which we want to try to remove something from the image. So I've got the first one, an image of a face, and there's a mole on here that we're going to want to remove, or we could duplicate it. I'll show you also how to do that. And then in the secondary clip, this is a clip from Instagram where it just basically loops back and forth, but we've got a drone shadow in here that I wanted to get rid of. Okay, so we'll show you how to do that. Let's first take the clip. We'll go into color section and we'll do a power window around this mole. So what I'm going to do is create a circle. I'm going to make it smaller. And actually, if we want to duplicate the, the mole, all we have to do is put it right above it. We'll increase the softness a little bit. And then we go into what's known as sizing node sizing and all we have to do is move it to the position that we want the new mole in maybe like right there and then we could go back in and kind of clean that up if we go back into the power window we can increase the, the softness and now all of a sudden if i go to full screen uh, you can see the two the moles there okay well most of the times you don't want to duplicate that in fact most of the times you're going to want to actually remove that so what we're going to do is undo that. I'm going to select the spot right above the mole. Now, what you want to do is find something that's as similar to the background here of the mole. Now, you notice here this has got some layer to it uh, from the light. Uh, but right above it, it looks pretty, pretty close to uh, the space of the mole. So I'm going to go ahead and select that area there. Now, when we go into the sizing and we just do a tilt or move it down, Now we're able to cover that over. And so if I look at it, you can see that it's it's uh, not visible. Okay? If we look at the video, uh, the, the image is moving around. So what we want to do now is to track that so it stays in position. So we go back to the beginning of the clip. We go to tracking. And we're going to use Cloud Tracker, which is default. And we're just going to track forward. And then when that's done, we're just going to track backwards. Okay, now if we just move that right there, it should hold. You see there? All right, very good. Now, if I were actually editing this, obviously I'm going to add... Um, some other features, I'll probably add a LUT. And uh, I'll just throw this on here just for the purposes here. Dial that down a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, eliminate some of this mid-tone detail right here. I'll just dial it down there. So now if you look at it in full screen, it looks, oh, it looks perfect. Okay. So that's it for removal of, say, a blemish. So let's go into this drone image here. And this is a little tricky. With, with drone images, if you want to eliminate the shadow of a drone, the drone, you need to make sure it doesn't cross the path of anything that's kind of dissimilar. In this case, this white circle. Now, in this clip example where I've got it looping, uh, we're in good shape because it stays on the black top here. All right, so I'm going to do a couple things first before I mess with this. I'm going to first, uh, let me just go ahead and add another node. I'm going to dial down the uh, sharpness. It actually was a little sharper than I wanted. Dial it down a little bit and the midtone detail. All right. So let's go ahead and create a power window. I'm going to go back here to the beginning of the clip. And we'll do a power window. Let's do a circle here. I'm going to do more like an oval. Just going to make sure we dial the size down here. Make sure it 
it's about the same size I can fit it in right about there because I don't want to get this imperfection here whatever that is on the concrete I don't want to duplicate that that's a good size there what I'm going to do is look on here for something that looks pretty similar I think this area here looks pretty good all right so I'm going to position it right about there now I'm going to track it first this time that way I don't have this issue so we're going to go ahead and track that hopefully it tracks just fine it does forwards backwards all right looks good now we're going to go into node sizing and we're just going to move the position over I can't even see it now oh, there we go all right now the first thing I notice is it's darker so we may let's see if we can clean it up with a softening effect there we go looks a little better but it's still a little dark if I were to pick another location say here let's pick it here and then go back in here and we'll adjust the position looks like I've got the line in here so you can see the challenges that you run into with this all right let's see how that looks all right so that's a little better you can kind of still see it but I guarantee if this is on Instagram no one's going to notice <laughs> in fact it looks pretty good you can barely see the shadow I can probably expand it there so you get the point uh, that's what you would have to do in order to eliminate that drone shadow uh, and you can do this really with any anything you want to eliminate or duplicate for that matter. So if you've got any questions, please leave those below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Peace.